Right, I'm going to show you guys how easily you can hack a website with a simple PHP file upload, which is if it's not sanitized or if it's not checked properly of it or if it's not checked by the firewall. It can be easily easily bypassed and you can hack a website with within seconds you can have remote code execution on any single website as you as as long as you manage to f uh, upload this file and at the end of the video i'm going to show you how to create this file it's very very simple it takes literally two seconds to create this file and it's very very simple right right so the first vulnerability i want to show you is basically um it's already up on uploading the file it's already a vulnerability why? Because basically what we can do is we can upload any file I wish. I can upload a Ruby file, a Python file, a, an XML file, PHP, PNG, whatever I want, I can upload. Right, so this is basically a straight away already on vulnerability, but we're not really interested in this. We're interested in uploading a, a web show in the first place. So this is the file. As I said, I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to create this. It's very, very simple, right? So I just upload. Um, I'm going to intercept. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to intercept it yet. Just upload. And once I upload it, all I need to do now is basically I need to track back where the file is, right? So if I just inspect the file, and as you can see, um, if you actually come with your mouse and you right click on something, right? This could be anything. This could be a text box. This could be an image. If you right click and inspect it or look at the source code, it will actually show you where the file is executed or is displayed or when, where the file is in the, in the source code, right? So if you take this path, right? So if I take this path and I just put it, basically put it in the browser. Now, if I just simply navigate to the file, right? Because first of all, we need to do is find the file and then execute it. I'm going to show you how to execute it because if you just navigate to the file, it's not going to work. So if you do files, avatar, uh, avatars, I think it's avatars, web shell.php. I hope it's avatars. Yep. Okay. So I has found the file. If it says 200, okay. By, by the way, this is important that you guys also, also know the HTTP status codes because this can tell you information very, very quickly if you have managed to do something or no, right? Now, we have basically navigated the file. We basically have executed the file, but it, has, it hasn't done anything. It's basically useless, right? But to make it useful, we need to basically execute it with a command, right? So if I just do question mark and we do command equals ls, right? What's going to happen? We have successfully to basically injected a command into the web server or into the server, right? So because of this file, we're now able to run any command I wish. Very, very simple, right? Now, one more thing I want to show you is if you basically, because um, if you go to the first GitHub repository, you might get this file, right? This is a simple file. This is a PHP file with a basically command execution. However, there's two important things. As you can see, I have command, right? Let's call it a variable. This is a variable, right? Or a, or a function, command, right? Command, it says command. But some repositories may say CMD instead of command, I might say CMD. This is important that you do read the PHP shells or web shells and you do put the command, right? So if it says CMD there, if it's, oh, sorry, if it says CMD here, you need to put CMD here. Instead of command, it needs to be CMD, right? And this is very important because if I put CMD, right, it won't work. As you can see, it doesn't work. It doesn't execute anything, right? So it is very, very important that you do make sure that you check what file or web shop you have, right? It is very, very crucial that you do check this. Basically click, um, if we just upload a file, or um, a web show, right? Um, and I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna leave the intercept. And I upload. It says that, sorry, the file type application x PHP, right? So it tells us the mime, mime type, right? It's not allowed. Only image slash JPEG and image PNG are allowed. Okay, that's fine. So what happens if I upload the file, right? I upload this, I am uploading the same file, upload, and I go to Burp Suite. And I look at the request. So this is the post request, right? So we're basically, this is a HTTP request. And this is a sort of a check that it does to make sure that we're, what we're uploading is what we're uploading. But the thing is, this is very, very weak security because what you can do is you can lie in the request and it will allow you to buy, upload whatever you want. So if I just, uh, as you can see, right? If you remember, it said image slash JPEG or PNG. And it tells you, application xphp here now what happens if i remove this 
and instead of sending the request um, with application xphp, I change it to image png. Image png. And what we're going to do is we're going to send it to repeater just in case if we make a mistake, so we don't need to type it, uh, type the request and intercept and stuff, right? Send. 200 OK, beautiful. The file avatars web shell PHP has been uploaded. Well, but we just up, we just bypass the security check? Yes, we have. <laughs> this is how simple it is. Now, obviously, in the real world, this might not be as simple, especially for any bug bounty programs, VDPs. This might not be as simple, right? But it is worth knowing that you can bypass security checks like this easily, right? Now, all it takes for us is just to stop the intercept, go back to your account, intercept again, um, and we get a request. Let me just actually refresh, right? Repeater. Send the request, make sure we're on the right page. Yep, we are. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. We're going to do avatars. Sorry. Files. Files, avatars. Webshell.php. Send the request. Yep. Okay. Command equals ls. And we successfully have executed a remote, well, executed, executed the file, and we have achieved, by doing this, we have achieved um, a remote RCE or remote code execution. This is very, very simple, right? But remember, as I said, this is simple um, file upload vulnerability checks. These are not secure at any point, and you might not even have these in the real websites or real world scenarios, right? But I'm showing you this as a basically, as for you to experiment and learn how to do this. Now, as I have promised, I'm going to show you how to get this file, right? How to get this malicious file upload vulnerability. So basically, either you can copy this from my video. I'm going to leave this in this comment uh, in the description below, where you can just copy this. Or what you can do is go to your first GitHub repository that you can find on the internet. And you can just copy this and you can basically um save it as a php file right now there's other ways that you can bypass this but i'm not going to show you this for now maybe in the future videos i'm going to show you and i also don't know if i'm allowed to show you more and um, because of youtube policy and stuff right so this is a simple file it'll be in the description below you can just copy this and you can just paste it in your php file i hopefully if, if it won't be in the description below you're just gonna have to copy it because youtube may not allow me to Right, basically what I'll do is I'll just drop this payload on my GitHub. You can access my GitHub and there's not a lot of information, but I'll be planning to drop a lot of resources there. If not, you can always contact me on Twitter. Check out my Twitter. There's free resources there. I post quite a lot free information, free free payloads for any vulnerability you want, XSS, SQL injection, anything you want that you can find there. Um, don't forget to check out my hacking course, which will be in the description below. Peace. And also don't forget to check out my other videos, which are full of information for you to learn from.